Hello everyone, this is Abdul Meet for Luna Studios. Uh, it's been a long time uh, that I haven't uploaded my uh, video, so here it is. Now I was uh, busy and uh, I'm not feeling well uh, nowadays because of these weather changes. So uh, I'll try my best to get you onto the effect. So my friend told me to make this kind of effect. Uh, I don't know where he got this effect, uh, but I made uh, this for him. And now let's see how I created this. Uh, first of all, let's see what effect I'm talking about. See that? So here we are in uh, my comp uh, in my After Effect. Uh, sorry, my machine is super slow. If uh, uh, things get slow, so don't. Uh, I'm really sorry for that. And uh, this is my comp. Here it is. He gathers the energy for himself, and there he goes. And then he gets out of the frame. So I can get this. What you call this uh, background plate? This. So I've got this so here it is so i should uh, create a, that simple hancock effect uh, that you all um, might know so f get to the point where he actually just starts right in here this looks perfect and uh, control shift and duplicate this and now go to the top one and right click time freeze frame so we want this frame to be freezed so we can cut out the character so here we are just a, a rough mask would uh, do the work so here we are with the mask now just uh, disable this layer go to this one and duplicate this one and stretch the lower one so we can get to the background plate right here it looks good right click time freeze frame so here we are now just enable this one again so as you can see as he jumps it freezes and uh, here we got the main thing here so now just uh, go to position of this uh, mask layer and create a, a star create a keyframe at here and uh, go to uh, around uh, one two three four five six fr frames and get it out of the frame so the the more you get this uh, far from the frame uh, the more speed you would get so this looks good motion blur would, would make it uh, more awesome so we are done with this simple thing so here we got it now let's get on to the real thing the energy and everything so for those uh, uh, particles that were uh, revolving around the character i use the plugin from video copilot saber it's and it's free so let's create a new solid let's just go for black one doesn't matter so create an oval shape around the character like this so the particles uh, would move around uh, this uh, mask shape now go on to saber drop that on the solid let's enable it so we have this this saber effect right here go to customize core and go to layer masks so as you can see it's around the mask right now so now just go and select energy I don't know what I select that time yes electric so it's electric go on and select uh, electric presets and uh, now let's create that awesome effect go to start offset and just play with like like this start offset and we want its tail to be smaller and its head to be larger so where it is end size start size so we want it to be like smaller and end size to be like larger like this so so mask revolution it makes it move around uh, the mask so we've got that two in a, a saber so just make it zero so all click mask evolution and uh, type in time multiply 250 
move 250 times a minute I think that's how the calculation works so here we are now just go into the toggle switches or press F4 and change it to screen or add or whatever suits you so we're here and uh, what we're gonna do is just screen not screen just add so here we are now just make it a bit more awesome just go in here start offset go a, a few frames back and completely invisible so here it, it is so it just comes out like this or just <coughs> make a, a keyframe around uh, here as he lands uh, on his knee around here and end offset and go a few frames back sorry for raw resolution back and make it uh, 47 start no 63 so it will be completely invisible so cut it right here uh, alt open bracket right here so we can see where it starts so pre comp this uh, saber layer like this okay S control shift c and move all attributes into the new comp so like this and change this one to add two and here we got it so now duplicate change the position duplicate change the position duplicate change the position duplicate change the position now change timing of each of them like this and this one duplicate it several times so you can get something random out of it so let's just see it's too bright uh, how it looks on the screen so screen works good duplicate again randomize so now go on to the main comp just see when we want it to finish here we want it to be finished completely so go to save a comp go on to this press u we got end offset make a keyframe go a few frames ahead and uh, end offset and change it to what it is 63 uh, or whatever the start offset is so we've got this one now just uh, what is called shy turn on shy on each of them so we can get a clear comp now we have to make that energy that's coming from the ground so for that what I did was just created a, a new solid layer fractal noise just change it to whatever you think looks good just change it to dynamic and I drop a sphere CC sphere effect like this when go to shading ambient is it uh, zero no 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 it's 100 I think diffuse zero and spec specular zero so we've got this now play with the fractal noise size and everything uh, alt click evolution time multiply 200 so we can get some evolution now go on to sphere and uh, go to rotation and see we don't want this area to in to be in front of the camera so here it is just go and make this 
so now go on to uh, X rotation X and all click and write in time 150 so we can get this rolling ball effect just uh, increase the radius now pre-comb this fractal noise pre-comb it like this so we get a comp having ball like this and uh, this just hide it for a second and we want the energy to only be shown in here let's just hide all the saber layers and uh, make a mask around here show this F4 and add the screen I think add works good and feather it out so now when you see it it looks something like this you can always uh, play with the uh, just drop a curve around this thing and drop a tint effect if you want uh, if you want to change the color or anything let's just select this blue and you can play with its brightness and everything and drop a glow effect if you want and uh, glow radius increase the glow radius and change the color a bit so here we got a simple effect now double click the M so when you want to start it mask expansion make a keyframe go a few frames back and turn it to something like this and in the end when we want it to disappear make a keyframe right here and go a few frames ahead and disappear right here so we have this now so we are done with this thing now it's time for it to hide this thing too so we are done with this effect now it's time to create those dusts and everything so i've got dust one from video copilot's action essentials 2 so let's just delete this one dust 2 and just drop the second dust right here second dust should start right here so screen and screen this too so this looks good now just now let's just create those uh, shock waves they are new solid white solid place it beneath the dust elements and create an ellipse tool or just create this thing and make it 3d and place it on the ground like we want it's supposed to be super low uh, feather it out so scale so scale should be zero from here and should go to something like something big in here so make it easy ease and uh, now what we're gonna do is just uh, go to opacity make keyframe and just change it to zero now let's do the same thing again but uh, a different one <coughs> so sphere 
fractal noise fractal noise dynamic and just play with it cc sphere 100 0 0 now linear wipe just go and drop a linear wipe on the sphere drag it to the top just right here just right here looks good let's just rotate it a bit looking good duplicate it again change the wipe angle to 180 and do the same thing again like this we got hard what do you call hard edges so we can uh, control that with uh, the scale so now we don't have any of these and the uh, contrast feather out both the edges like this and change it to screen that screen works good now we're gonna use this radius effect to make it larger so right here radius zero go a few frames ahead like these and make it larger so now we got this uh, just uh, press f9 on the last frame so this looks uh, good but uh, we have to add some more life to it so now just uh, go to the cc sphere and let's see where you can get it and make a keyframe at y rotation and go to the last frame and just move it like this super awesome for me and uh, now duplicate it where it starts just duplicate this fair and it starts here and just time it like this and change the turn it a little thinner like this change the time too so we get two two of them so it's got some hard edges in here so just drop a fast blur for or five works good duplicate or copy it and paste it on the other one and uh, now it's looking super awesome now just play with the opacity here we go and it's zero now duplicate the same thing on here so here we go in zero now <coughs> so it's done now and now just turn on the dust effect so let's see what we get here you can also uh, add flares to uh, to the effect so it uh, would get more exciting so that's uh, what you get, uh, gotta do if you just pay more attention you can get more details uh, i did it uh, roughly for sake of tutorial and uh, uh, i hope you guys like this tutorial and uh, I hope you will uh, uh, drop a like uh, on the video and subscribe to my channel and I'll try my best to bring uh, more awesome videos uh, awesome than this one and uh, thanks for watching that was all for today see you next time